<laughs> oh, yeah. I like this one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. They've saved us three times already. Melt that one, too. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. And that one. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. What? I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Good thing that rock tried to murder us or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. Ugh. Well? I can't jump. It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. At least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Root's practically naked. Root don't get cold, but he's a big baby in the heat. How do we get across this gunk? Perhaps we can leap to the ledge above. I wouldn't hold your breath. Oh, of course not. Steady breathing is essential to an effective leap. If we can find something to stand on, maybe we can walk across. Or better facilitate our leap. Or that. Hey, how about we make something to stand on? Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. It's not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope. No. Rocket, don't let me down. What? No, What's not that me. Up, group? I'm Groot. Groot wants to know how much longer. Here's good. Flark, 
It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. I am Groot. Star Lord! See? <laughs> Star Lord! Is it just me, or did he sound a little irritated? Nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. Ha! <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. Mac Lufour is beautiful, its own twisted way. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. I am Groot. Groot says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. Ah! It burns! I am Groot. Groot says they've got corrosive spores. If you don't get too close. I am Groot. Yeah, I think we've earned a vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's trying to kill us. With nowhere and contracts erect, all of our favorite drinking holes are gone. The Milano is still intact. Mostly, yeah. Burn, baby, burn! Haha, <laughs> nice. I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. Fruit says those plants deserve it. With all these exceptional beasts, it is a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move her home here. It's a little cold for Lady Skullsuit. Drax seems to be doing okay. The Catathians have adapted to survive long and harsh winters. And blistering brutal summers. <laughs> no. Our summers are quite mild and pleasant. Keep it up! I'm actually starting to get warm. Keep your eyes peeled. I smell an ambush. Your senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. Another plan falls to Captain Heatglob. You think Golden Boy is getting tortured right now? <laughs> nope, still not tired of it. I imagined Foom would sense our arrival and rush to face us. I am disappointed. Maybe he's hiding from us. Well, it's your new best bud. I'd say communication has failed. Another up there. Why can't 
Can't we ever just meet a nice local? What can I say, Quill? You bring it out in people! No wonder they're grumpy, living on this hunk of ice! Are you kidding? I go this is back. poor coffee! Done playing with the snow monkeys. When to go? Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling when to go. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. These snow beasts have wet my appetite. I am eager to slay the great Fin Fang Foom. Capture Drax. We're going to capture him. That is what I said. You said slay. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. Wendigo. Wendigo. So much for not holding a grudge. Quit trying to make friends. Hurt us into their zoo? Looks more like a dinner plate. Well, let's make sure we don't end up on the menu. <laughs> their visit invites country. to play. My time, 
right in the face! Thing! Their visage invites! My great strength goes underutilized! This has got my name on it! Revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, uh, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. Oh, please. It's probably the least dangerous thing on this planet. Just a big hunk of scrap. I'm not seeing a way up there. At least not for all of us. We all succeed or none succeed. Maybe there's something up there that'll help? All right, Groot, give me a boost. I am Groot. About yay high. Yay is not a unit to measure it. Groot knows what he means. They say Fin Fang Foom is a foe unlike any. One could imagine. I mean, he's basically a dragon from the fairy tales on Earth. Ridiculous. This is not some Terran tale of fairies. He's a great reptilian beast, gifted with flight and a rage so hot. All right, heads up. I'm gonna drop something down for you guys. Look out! War. You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. More hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. No doubt it's something that'll try to kill us. This place is like a funhouse of razor blades. Great speech. But I'm not worried. 
We face meteors, poison zit cats, and abominable snowmen. When to go? Right. And we beat them all. I'd back this team against anything. Whatever it is, it smells. Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Was all this foom? Undoubtedly. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for foam. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. I've still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of... Aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. And voila! Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I agree to. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, it shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. It shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. people let's catch us a dragon yes we grow ever closer to our great destiny you're awful chipper considering foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing we are not nothing 
I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. Whoa! Repeat! The ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! the getting down part. Hey, get back up. Or how we're gonna get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. That camp didn't have nothing useful. A can of anti foam spray. Perhaps a copy of Fighting Fin Fang Foom Volume 3 Dragon Slaying Techniques and Strategies. Uh, somebody actually wrote that? <laughs> no! I invented an imaginary book with an exceptionally verbose title in order to create levity. Hmm, excellent levity, Drax. Thank you. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these. I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fang Foom, come and face your death. What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill, go! Uh, Fin Fang Foom, it's... Nap time! Oh, Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom! We're gonna decomboggle your flock at scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of satarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. Groot's worried about the ice. If it'll hold Foom, it'll hold us. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. My blood thickens in anticipation of our great combat. Gross. We spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out.
get eaten, Peter Quill! Peter Quill, finally stay on for these fools! I'm ready! Just find me an opening! Triumphant! Who must fallen? We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... You murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! two of us together. Lord Foom. The final
final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see Enough. That if... I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. 